Christmas time was upon the Nightingale Railway, and a lot of engines were excited. But no engines were more excited than Larry, Lila, Lisa, and Aiden. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? The lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful, beautiful sight, we're, we're happy tonight. tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Wow, you two have really good singing voices. Well, what do you expect? I like to sing. Sing here, especially Christmas songs. Oh no. Not again. Will you stop your silly singing? It's getting on my nerves. Everything gets on your nerves. This shouldn't be any different. Come on, Water Cell. We're only having fun. Let them have their fun, Wurstel. Cough. Well, it's loud and obnoxious. Besides, isn't that rich coming from you? You tried to make rumors and play tricks on Cal and Cherry. That was because I was getting back at Kao for constantly showing off and complaining. And not to mention that I already had... and still have guilt for that mishap. At least he actually is more sensible, unlike you. Wisdom, it's almost Christmas. Please don't be grouchy around this time. Bah humbug! Excuse us! This is not appropriate behavior! Oh, please! I don't get why I have to work on silly branch lines instead of taking coaches. Wilfred should do it. He's not important as he claims he is. All right, Wurzdell, you know what? I think it's time I tell you how you should behave. Blah, 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 I'm not listening to you. Well, you're going to. This is just disrespectful. Why don't you think of someone or something else? You'd be surprised how much better you'd feel if you do. Pa! I'm the only important one to think about. I don't need your stupid advice. Well, I'm sorry for trying to help. Later on, Wurzdell was chuffing through the countryside with his trucks. He was being extra grumpy. Why don't I have a shiny coat? Why don't I get a break from work? Why do I especially have to put up with annoying passengers and trucks? Uh, come on, Warsdale. Christmas is about spending time with friends, family, and... Shut up, you childish truck! Warsdale, calm down! Whatever! Gee, the engine is such a scrooge. No kid. What was that I heard? Nothing that concerns you. Ugh. Later that day, Worsdale met Stratford at a junction. He felt tired from having too much work. Could you help me out with taking this special presence train? Sorry, Stratford, but I can't. I have more important jobs to do. So selfish. Worsdale chopped steadily down the line, determined to finish his work. The sooner I get done, the better. As he made his way, Larry, Lila, Aiden, and Lisa appeared on the tracks beside him. They were helping to deliver Christmas decorations. Hello, Worsdale. Merry Christmas. Season's greetings. Happy holidays. Bah! That's not very nice. He's quite the Christmas grouch. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a little too far. I'm sorry. Worsdale's mood had worsened even more. He started to pick up more traction, feeling even more intent on freeing himself from his job early. Look at me! I'm more useful and important than everyone else. But he was beginning to feel tired. I don't feel well. We're running low on water. We need to stop. Oh, bother! Just then, Stratford pulled in. Stratford, can you push me to the water tower? No can do, Wesdale. You wouldn't help me with the presence train, and now I'm running late.
Fortunately, Stratford let a nearby signalman know about Worsdale, who telephoned Shark Harbour, and Gus came to the rescue. Hi there, mate. Worsdale, is it? Yes, it is. Why didn't you refill on water soon, matey? I, um, got distracted with other things. Is that so? I heard about how you spoke to Lila, Larry, and the others about their Christmas songs, too. I was in a hurry. I didn't have time to listen to their songs. Not only that, I have more important jobs to do than- Well, just now Christmas is the time for giving and spending time with family and friends. And there is no such thing as a job that is more important than helping another engine. Worsdale had realized that Gus was right. Soon, Worsdale was heading back to his shed, thinking about what Gus had said, when he saw Larry, Lila, Lisa, and Aiden stuck on a hill with the Christmas decorations. Lisa, Aiden, what's happening back there? They've run out of coal, and Aiden can't push the train by himself. Come on, guys! You can put the map on it to this! Push and pull as hard as you can! No job is more important than helping another engine. Come on, you guys! Those decorations aren't going to deliver themselves! What a sell! You come to help! Thank you, Wasdell! Yeah, don't get used to this. Thanks to Worsdale, the decorations had arrived at Pintermax Station. Soon, Worsdale backed into the sheds, and he was in for a surprise. Merry Christmas, Worsdale. Merry Christmas, Worsdale! Unfortunately, Worsdale's kindness didn't last long, and Worsdale just couldn't help himself. And a bar humbug to you! It was nice while it lasted. But Worsdale was still grumpy. There are times when he puts others before himself, 
but I guess it's safe to say that Worsdale will never change. But still acts his age, sometimes. Well, just know Christmas is the time for giving and spending time. No. <clears throat> Lisa, Aiden, what's company? Oh, bleh. He's quite the great. Oh, bleh. Let me try that again. Could you help me with taking. Uh... I keep reading the light rock. No can do, Wesdale. You wouldn't help me with the presents trick. Yeah. 